Hello student. Now today in my ninth lecture, I am going to discuss the product of some method. This is the last topic of this chapter. Now this method is exactly opposite to the sum of product method that we have discussed in second lecture. Sum of product method and product of sum method both are opposite to each other. Sum of product method is known as SOP, sum of product. And product of sum method is known as POS, product of sum. In sum of product method, we focused high output in the truth table. One, okay. In truth table, output is high is the important case in SOP. While in POS, low output is important. Here, we have to find out fundamental product in SOP we have to find out fundamental product while in POS we have to find out fundamental sum after preparing the boolean equation this circuit is represented by and or gate this circuit is represented by and or gate while here circuit is represented by or and gate equivalent circuit is constructed by using NAND NAND gate while here equivalent circuit is by using NOR NOR gate so these are four major difference in sum of product we have to focus high output while in POS product of sum we have to focus low output here we have to find out fundamental product for those cases whose outputs are high but here we have to find out fundamental sum for those cases whose outputs are zero. After preparing the Boolean equation, you required AND OR circuit. Here you required OR AND circuit. Equivalent is drawn with the using NAND NAND circuit while it is with NOR NOR circuits. These are the four major points you have to keep in your mind. Okay. So the first point that you have to mention is this product of sum circuit is opposite to sum of product circuit. This is the first point that you have to mention. Second point here you have to 
focus zero in the truth table you have to focus zero in the truth table now find fundamental sum for above case prepare boolean equation draw or and circuit also draw equivalent nor nor circuit Six point you have to remember this circuit POS product of sum is exactly opposite to the sum of product circuit. Here you have to concentrate focus on those cases whose outputs are zero in your given truth table. Now find the fundamental sum, prepare Boolean equation, draw or end circuit and then finally you have to draw the equivalent nor nor circuit is that clear okay let's see the first example <coughs> suppose you are given a truth table for three input. Three input means we have eight different cases. Zero one zero one, double zero double one, four zero four. For one particular circuit. output is in this manner for three cases output is zero and for the remaining it is high so our focus is only for those cases whose outputs are low and we have to find out fundamental sum where output becomes zero in SOP sum of product our focus is to make output one now here look at here a is zero b is zero but c is one so a plus b plus c bar a is 0, B is 0, C is 1, so C bar is 0. So, 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0. 
So a plus b plus c bar. Now here a b bar c a b bar c and in this case a bar b bar c so your output y equals to a plus b plus c bar dot a plus b bar plus c dot a bar plus b bar plus c this is your boolean equation a plus b plus c bar a plus b bar plus c and a bar plus b bar plus c now this boolean equation you have to represent by or and circuit so here i am going to draw the first one first circuit or and circuit and then it is being replaced by nor nor circuit a b c bar a b c bar a b bar c a b bar c a bar b bar c a bar b bar c and that is given to end gate and so this become your y this circuit is said to be or and circuit or and circuit a b c bar a b bar c a bar b bar c now in second part you have to replace this by using nor nor circuit so in this part you required all nor gates all four gates are nor gate this is your y how it is so by using d morgan's rule and double inversion principle that i am going to explain you since so this is your first nor gate so output of this one is a plus b plus c bar whole over bar for this gate a plus b bar plus c whole over bar and for this one a bar plus b bar plus c whole over bar nor gate application a plus b plus c bar whole over bar a plus b bar plus c whole over bar a bar plus b bar plus c bar whole over bar now this three outputs are the input for this gate so here y equals to a 
a plus b plus c bar all over bar plus a plus b bar plus c all over bar plus a bar plus b bar plus c all over bar a plus b plus c bar all over bar plus a bar a plus b bar plus c all over bar plus a bar plus b bar plus c all over bar and this one this is the application of gate number four here there is a plus sign as well as there is an inversion sign now after applying the de morgan's first theorem after applying de morgan's first theorem first theorem is a plus b whole over bar is equals to a bar dot b bar a plus b whole over bar equals to a bar dot b bar so here it is a plus b plus c bar double bar dot a plus b bar plus c double bar dot a bar plus b bar plus c double bar this part d morgan's first theorem now double inversion rule this part is cancel a plus b plus c bar dot a plus b bar plus c plus a bar plus b bar plus c so this is your final y See, this part is optional but if you are able to solve this then it is excellent job so it's my personal advice that in both the case either in sop or pos apply both this okay so this is your product of sum now sometime in exam they can ask the question explain about product of sum method seven marks or sometime one equation is given and say that for this equation draw the product of sum method okay so let's discuss that part
y equals to f a b c that means 3 bit system 8 cases 0 3 5 6 output are 0 for this one here the meaning of this symbol is product okay so this symbol represents that you have to deal with product of some method not sop that is why this symbol is used prepare the boolean equation for above given equation by using pos method but even if it is not mentioned this symbol is given means you have to understand it is pos okay so for uh, three input we have eight different cases out of them one two three four four cases are zero four cases are high so first you have to prepare the truth table zero one zero one zero one zero one eight case double zero double one double zero double one eight times zeros eight time one decimal equivalent zero one two three four 5, 6 and 7. Output is low for the case number 0, number 3, number 5 and number 6. The remaining entries are high. We have to find out fundamental sum for only those cases whose outputs are 0. So here it is A plus B plus C. Here it is A plus B bar plus C bar. A plus C. B is high. So B bar is 0. C is high. C bar is 0. So A plus B bar plus C bar. Here A bar plus b plus c bar a bar 0 b and c bar and the last one a bar plus b bar plus c a bar plus b bar plus c so we have four entries so your or end circuit required four or gate and one end gate so first boolean equation See, uh, no need to find out the fundamental sum of remaining case. Otherwise, you are going to confused in the exam. So, y equals to a plus b plus c dot a plus b bar plus c bar. dot a bar plus b plus c bar dot a bar plus b bar plus c this is your y this is your boolean equation now you have to represent by or and circuit
फोर और गेट्स ऑल आर थ्री इनपुट वन टू थ्री फोर फोर और गेट ऑल आर ऑफ थ्री इनपुट्स ए बी सी ए बी सी ए बी बार सी बार ए बी बार सी बार ए बार बी सी बार ए बार बी बार सी एंड आउटपुट इज गिवन टू एंड गेट दिस सर्किट इज सेट टू बी और एंड सर्किट दिस सर्किट इज सेट टू बी और एंड सर्किट एंड देन इट इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय नॉट नॉर्थ सर्किट This circuit is replaced by नॉर्थ नॉर्थ circuit. So all gates are नॉर gates. This is your नॉर्थ नॉर्थ सर्किट सो वाई इज गिवन सो दिस इज अबाउट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम मैथड सो हियर एंड ऑफ योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव स्टडीड how to reduce boolean equation for that different methods are used first uh, in my first lecture we have discussed basic boolean algebra rule de morgan's theorem duality theorem in second lecture we have discussed sum of product method then from third lecture to i think seventh lecture we have study about k map that is a very important topic and then in i think in eighth lecture we have discussed don't care condition that is also a part of k map and in today's lecture we have discuss product of sum method in this unit there are two chapters first is combinational logic circuit second is flip flop normally i'm using the word normally flip flop is an option with this chapter but sometime because you are in last year so sometime examiner mix both the chapters a is from combinational logic circuit b is from flip flop means you have to prepare both the chapters okay so second chapter is also important but before that in my next lecture i am going to discuss mcq and sq particularly sq because sq is asked in the exam of this chapter 
but that is in the form of taste so in this board i will give you four or five questions and for that i will give you five minutes you have to solve that so it is a self assessment but you will get idea that uh, you have prepared the chapter properly or not okay so within 3 4 days because next lecture is on wednesday of next week so before that you have few days prepare it thoroughly so you can solve sq short questions short question is asked in the exam and the weightage of this uh, chapter short question is around 3 marks so properly thoroughly prepare this from that we are going to discuss short questions okay thank you